23 is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next. Colorado's going to have to make an adjustment here. Their injured player will not be back tonight. Well, let's see what this third period can offer at what has been a score fest thus far. 40 minutes into this one here. Razor, how do you see things? Vancouver's been chasing this game and chasing the puck much of the first two periods. If they're going to get back in it, they've got to possess the puck a lot more. Scores! Nathan McKinnon! That's a good shot. He zips it by the goaltender, but he works himself into a clean area on the ice to shoot this from the high slot. The chance was there for them, and with his superstar ability, he secured that goal, guys. He is feeling it right now, and you can tell just by the way he's playing. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Hammers the shot! What a stop as he puts out the fire! Lots of time left in this period. The Avs have all the momentum right now, leading by two. McKinnon's won a big draw on their own end. Scooped up along the wall by Rantanen. Here's a short pass to Besser. A shot turned aside. Big save by the goaltender once again. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Denies him on the play. Rantanen's value is on the ice here, playing hockey, generating chances. He got frustrated and got into that fight earlier. He's not helping his team at all there. Oh, and that stays out with the toe save. Puck scooped up by McKinnon. This offensive zone pressure is up. And he's going after him here. You can't do that to the Stars. Yeah, even if you think it's a clean hit, and I do, it doesn't matter. Somebody's coming after you. Joe Levesque and the officials finally getting some control here, but it feels like that, maybe that's you lost a long time ago. Do yeah. you think they are? I mean, maybe they've stopped it for now, but we'll see what comes down the pike. You just don't see this much anymore. First of all, a fight. Secondly, that somebody's hurt at the end of it. Uh, hopefully, he's not hurt too badly. Well, the crowd's right back into this one after a pretty spirited tilt just moments ago. Kadri's won the draw. The Abs will play it against the boards. Moves into the slot. Rowan. Scores! Three straight goals here. They have really laid the boots to those guys in the last little bit. You got to get into the middle of the ice to score. He's in the low slot. He whips the backhander past the goalie. The Avs have been all over them tonight, and it continues here in this third. They haven't taken their foot off the accelerator for one second tonight. I've been really impressed how they've dominated this game. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Beautiful glove stop on that one. Demko's one of the group today for sure. It's not been very good from him all the way out. Nothing in front. And he came out and challenged him. Good save. It's a chance on the rush. Two on one. Oh, what a stop by Demko. To the low slot. Scores right on the doorstep. He pounces on the rebound and puts it home. You want money? You go to the bank. You want bread? You go to the store. You want goals? You get into the net. The rebound's there. He puts it away. The Avalanche have been showing no mercy tonight. So many nights, it's tooth and nail to get a victory. Not tonight. This is comfortable for them. He's fifth of the season. On the attack along the boards. Vancouver's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. And that pass can't connect. Scrum ensues along the boards. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. The Avalanche have the puck in the defensive zone. Colorado's on the attack. Here's a shot. That goes off a twig. 
Nice pass. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Takes it across the blue line. Takes the puck at the point. To the front! Monster save by Halak! Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Sends a pass over. Mott's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. The frustrations turn from being frustrated at themselves to being frustrated at the officials, but that's not going to help. The Canucks are going to have to figure out how to roll their bench down a player. They just got news, as I did, that that player will not return. Well, that certainly changes things going forward. Thanks for the update, Ray. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Here comes the call. A late penalty is really not going to change much, James. I mean, the penalty killers will go out, but they've got a comfortable lead. The Canucks roll out their man advantage unit, and they've got lots of time with this five on three. Five on three power plays for this length can be a real good thing. Look, we used to practice them. The problem is sometimes they're not as intense as the game, and the guys get a little lethargic moving the puck around the outside. Branton is working it around in the corner. Here comes the pushback. Murray's turning this challenge down. That's not part of his game. Nearing the final minute of the third. And we're gonna get a face-off after the offside. The Sharks loom as the next date for these guys when they're back on the ice. You'd be surprised at how many players don't know the schedule. They just know the really? team they're playing tonight. Oh yeah, and they don't know who's coming next. Helms won it. Puck grab by McCarr. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. There's a hit on the play. Poked away at center ice. Here he is in close. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. 35 seconds to go in this. Unleashes a cannon, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. The Canucks take it across the line. And there's a shot. Makes the save. Here's a shot. There's another stop. I love the way that he's in position, and he's got the reflexes to bang out a couple of stops in a row. Nice zone entry from the right side. Chance in front. Great save from in tight. And that's all she wrote on this one as we are in the books. Colorado's finding ways to win in so many different areas here, Ray. Doesn't seem to matter where the game goes, like which direction it is, if it's open or tight checking. They seem to have the answer for all of it. Man, it's fun to play like this. It's a forward concept to think that players like the Rocket or Mr. Hockey would have done this way back when. No, they wouldn't have done this. It's a regular occurrence now. But now things have changed, and this is what you should do. And that'll do it from ringside, everyone. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Get home safely. Thanks so much for joining us.